All right, guys, so here is the Model 3 inside. So let's look on the new features which we have with the latest release. And one of the features which we actually introduced, which was uh, highly anticipated, is from the safety and security, is this thing, Sentry Mode. So Sentry Mode will allow you to actually go in and leave your car out. And then the people are gonna be approaching your car, it's gonna start to record everything around the car using all cameras and sensors including the ones inside and outside to actually save the footage of who was around the car at the time and then it will upload it up to the Tesla servers so if somebody will break into the car then they would not be able to actually get that footage because it's not going to be stored on the flash drive where your camera is like the dash cam data is but it's going to be uploaded to the Tesla servers so and it's going to be sitting there for a while then uh, ready for you to download and present it if necessary. The other thing is the dog mode is for ventilation. Then you go in and you leave your dogs out. Then the climate control will stay active and there's uh, gonna be an icon showing up on the main screen indicating that the temperature inside the cabin is fine and it's ready for the dogs. And you will see even cute dog uh, sitting and waving the tail. So that's gonna be good as well. So uh, one other thing which I wanted to show you was uh, actual the, the lights on the beam. Now it's automatic. So when it's going to the light on the uh, high beam, you see here there's a letter A. So what it means if it's the car detects the upcoming car, then uh, it's automatically switch from high beam to low beam. And then the road's gonna be empty again and clean uh, and clear then the, car will automatically switch to high beam again so you can also go on the low beam all the time if you want to but if you choose to actually go and drive with the high beams up then this is what you're gonna have it's automatically gonna prevent your car from actually blinding up the drivers which are upcoming traffic right which is very smart and good all right so let's look on the summon features right now the summon will allow you to actually go in and move the car around so while you are not in the car autopilot summon customize summon right so that's what we want so summon is still better so don't overdo it and don't really rely too much on it you really have to be close to the car and be aware of its surroundings but the customization is basically telling you how far is the distance on the bumper clearance should be summon distance is where how, how far away you have to be from the car for actually to uh, activate the summon feature. By default, I think it's five meters or less. So I was trying to do it when I was far away, like not far away, but maybe more than three meters away. And the car just showed me the summon mode, but it didn't actually move the car at all. It says the summon failed. So in order to clean it up, you have to actually go in and increase the distance. The clearance, I put it at tight spaces because that's what it's usually for. And the bumper clearance as well. You can go 30 centimeters, it's pretty pretty good. Uh, use out a home link, that's when you're gonna go in and actually drive the summon out from the garage. It will go and try to open my garage door right now, the second garage door. Approaching the garage, if you summon as well, I'm not sure if it's gonna try to open, but I think it should be trying to open as well. Someone will park in narrow spaces to control the home link, increase the risk of damage of a vehicle. So yeah, so make sure you actually know what you're doing because the car will drive and it will go around and use the sensors to actually stop if need to be, but don't overdo it because it's still in a battery. You don't want to ruin your car over a stupid experiment, right? So summon mode can be activated on the phone. So you just can go into the settings on the summon phone, on the summon. It's right here on the bottom. Just click on that. And you can control car moving back and forth, just straight forward and straight backwards. So if I go reverse, right, right now, I'm just going to press and hold and the car should move as soon as i release the button here release from the touch it will stop right so it's easy if you park it in narrow spaces then that's what you want to use so you can also go forward like that so go forward And 
it will stop automatically it try to set it up so uh, to avoid me and then just stop right so here we go that's pretty much it the other thing which we have is all this late departure warnings and this they were before i put my speed uh 15 kilometers over so it's relative to the actual current speed limit automatic emergency brake and all these things should be on don't turn it off right um what else navigation i have navigate on autopilot so this is my hands as you can see i'm not touching right the wheel the car is driving it's on its own it's an autopilot mode so test on navigate and autopilot so that's how it looks guys very impressive very impressive it's keeping up the speed it's checking the cars in front of it and then you drive an autopilot they have the central lane indicated here one line pointing that the car is doing its own navigation then you are on normal autopilot they just get in your two lanes here showing up that means that it's normal autopilot without navigation so now it's asking me to take the wheel a little bit so we do this just shake a wheel a little bit and it will accept the force gentle force to the wheel and that would be indication to the car that you are still here you are not sleeping you are paying attention to the road and that's what it's all about as you see the cars in front of us are slowing down so my car should automatically detect that and start slowing down as well yeah that's what it's doing right now the speed is dropping to match the traffic in front of us and it's also seeing the wall which we have here made construction detected that's the message that's getting smarter each day guys so it's very soon it's gonna be fully acceptable to drive on the road on autopilot and not touch the wheel at all so now it's saying navigation will end and we'll regain control on the car Okay guys, so that's it for today's review for the latest features recently introduced with the Tesla firmware. Uh, so we looked on a sentry mode, we looked on a, a summon, how it works, and we also looked on a dog mode, which is very useful because summer is coming and we have dogs, so we would like to keep them comfortable in the car. If you like this video, you know what to do. Press like button, press subscribe, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for the next technical review on the Tesla Live channel. Until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.